All right, hello and welcome to this week's episode of Muscatine in Focus. I'm your host, Chad Bishop, and we'd like to welcome you to the show. We're very excited to be at the Muscatine Art Center with Melanie Alexander. Welcome. Yeah, thanks for visiting. So there's always some great things happening at the Art Center, rotating exhibits, so you can always come back, you know, and yeah. time and time again. But right now you have two really interesting exhibits that we'd like to talk about. Right. They cool. both tie back to our Muscatine history. Oh, okay, great. So first up, we have What Follows is True. That's the exhibit space we're in right now. Yes. Talk to us a little bit about this exhibit. Okay, so this is about the Crescent Hotel, which maybe is new to our Muscatine folks. So this is actually the cancer hospital that Norman Baker established in Eureka Springs, um, Arkansas. So there is a very local Muscatine story that's part of this. Um, the key part of the exhibition are the graphic illustrations that were created by an artist okay. named Sean Fitzgibbon. And he is both the author and the illustrator for it's a nonfiction graphic book. So I always want to say graphic novel, but it's not a novel. It's, it's yeah. nonfiction. So it is the story of Norman Baker and parts of his book actually begin with Norman Baker's roots and, and the establishment of his many businesses in Muscatine. So there's, there's Muscatine components, um, but uh, Sean Fitzgibbons has sort of a different angle because he is from Arkansas. Mm -hmm. So what he knows of Norman Baker is more the Eureka Springs story. So it's kind of a fascinating look at, you know, what happened for Norman Baker after yes. he left Muscatine. The legend definitely lives on in Eureka Springs. I visited there. I yes. And what a great, fun town. But there, he's kind of... He's is infamous, but there's all sorts of tourism. He's oh, yeah. being touted as one of the reasons it's the, one of the most haunted hotels in America. Uh -huh. So we, they owe they owe a lot of that to Muscatine. He's not quite as popular here, but back in the day, such yeah. a great history of all the businesses and just fascinating stuff with the radio station and the cancer hospital yeah. and all those great things. And I am wearing my Norman Baker shirt because. Uh, I've done a, a movie and a documentary about him, which we're gonna tie in as well for this, uh, this celebration. So Sean has been here for a decade, or if not longer, visiting. He's been visiting. doing research, yep. it, you know, using resources here in Muscatine, both at the Muscatine Art Center and at the Muscat Public Library. So, you know, the staff at the Muscatine Art Center has had a relationship with Sean for at least a dozen years. And it's taken wow. him that long to do all these illustrations and get the story uh, you know, put together. And he did a lot of sort of crowdsourcing to fund his project. And the books are here. So people can actually pick up the book, nice holiday gift for yep. somebody who's into Muscatine the history. history yep. And mm -hmm. you know, you don't have to necessarily love um, you know, graphic, um, books but uh, I think even for those who aren't used to you know I, I've got a, a kid who's in it, well he's almost in middle school so he's really into the graphic nonfiction but for this is really a nice book for adult audiences and I think they'll appreciate the artwork and you know his um, attention to detail and just how many illustrations are in this book it's really wow, really impressive. Yeah. And you know, it's a it's a fascinating angle to learn a little bit more, get a little deeper dive into what Norman Baker did once he was no longer in Muscatine. Yeah. So. And uh, so I met Sean when he first came here to set up the display. Mm -hmm. And we've been chatting back and forth because with the movie I did and with his graphic novel, we were, I was kind of thinking, hey, maybe this could be a, something that gets the eye of a, a potential movie producer down the road for a Netflix series. So yeah. we're kind of giggling about that because it's kind of an interesting storyboard. Yeah. But me and him were talking for hours for obvious yeah. reasons because yeah. of our research with Norman Baker. And so the, the main reason I wanted to have you on the show is because this Sunday coming up, October 23rd, is the closing ceremony where Sean's going to be here. So right. a great opportunity to not only look at the display, the book, and see the film yes. uh, that we're going to screen at 3 p.m. Um, yeah. Tell us about that. Uh, well, you're right. The, so sort of the highlight is that Sean's going to be back in Muscatine. It is the last day for the exhibition. So if you haven't been to see his original artwork, which is what's displayed on our walls right now, um, you don't want to miss that. And Sean will be here. He'll, um, you know, answer some questions. He's going to do a book signing, and then once um, sort of we wrap up his 
his component, I think that's from, starts at 1.30, 1.30 to 2.30, something like that. And then uh, we'll segue into the film screening. And yeah. you'll be here to talk about mm -hmm. the, the film and I think Laura Legis, yep, who the was producer, one of the producers. Uh, the, yeah. the star Chris Cosby's plan on coming. And right. a lot of people, Muscatine, have probably seen it. Uh, we screened it locally a couple of years ago, but a chance to see it again on a nice big screen. But kind of more importantly, the new angle is with Sean and me yeah. and, and in the room, just take, taking a step back into history, but bringing it to life through 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 uh, illustrations and, and video. And so it should be a pretty fun time. Yeah, yeah. And the exhibit here, uh, there, there are cases with artifacts that are from the Muscatine Art Center's collection. Um, so there's yeah. actual Norman Baker related materials that are, uh, you know, things that his companies, um, Know the Naked Truth and, you know, tying back to the Calliophone, all that stuff um, is on view uh, in part of, in, within these same exhibitions. So Sean's illustrations are on the wall and the artifacts are um, more in the middle of the room. But, you know, we just, I had some visitors in uh, just the other day and we walked through it and it's amazing to look at like, the types of things that were sold out of the <laughs> yeah. out of his shop, you yeah. know, they, they sold prunes and coffee yep. beans and beans. cigars, and yep. it's just it's just Baker amazing. Beans. Yeah, yes. what a, what to get into that guy's mind would be interesting. Yeah, you know, yeah. Just Baker beans. Why not sell some beans or some flour? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Hope to see everybody October twenty third for the closing ceremony of what follows is, is true and the screening of my film, uh, The Man in Purple. It's going to be a great afternoon.